Hey everybody, the provider here. Today I'm going to show you how to cut down a, a leaning tree with a plunge cut safely. If uh, you're not comfortable and, and confident in your skills with a chainsaw, do not try this at home. Uh, um, cutting down trees is very dangerous, so uh, please have uh, enough time and practice and be aware of your skills and, and uh, what the tree is doing uh, before you attempt anything like this. Um, because you can get hurt. So I, I do not recommend it and unless you are trained and, and know what you're doing. So I'm gonna give you a look at what we're uh, what we're doing with. It's not too bad of a leaner. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just a little bit, but when it starts to overhang there like that, that's really gonna be pulling that tree down and um, I'm kind of worried about it barber chairing. So that's why I'm gonna use this, this plunge cut method. Uh, all told, it's, it's probably about a 65, 70 foot tree. Um, you can see it was growing and uh, the main trunk there, something happened to it and uh, it, it either got hit or crushed or died off and, and so that's why it's got that, that offshoot there. That became the new main trunk of the tree. So we're gonna get this one cut down and, and uh, show you how it works. Hang in there. Okay, so how this is gonna work is uh, I'm gonna cut a shallow front wedge um, and then I will plunge in behind that wedge, leaving about a... So right now I'm, I'm narrating this. The Unfortunately, the sound on the, the microphone went out. I guess it ran out of battery while I was shooting this. So here you can see me going in, cutting that, that shallow front wedge, uh, getting that bottom cut of the wedge done, pulling out, checking to make sure that it's it's in line, doing a little tweaking here on it, making sure I, I, I like the aim of the wedge because uh, as you'll see in, in the later video uh, there are some trees on the far side of this and then here I am cutting the, the wedge out making sure I get uh, a good solid cut all the way through it nice wedge out of there, you want it shallow because um, we're, we're actually doing a lot of this with the plunge here so when you're plunging that saw in there, you really got to make sure that that you're uh, forcing the tip of it in. Um, so you can see that I started plunging, only got about half inch inch in, and I, I realized I was way too low. So I pulled out, plunged in at about two to three inches higher. Uh, that way I was about midway through that wedge, um, leaving a, a one inch hinge and it's the way that this tree was positioned and the other tree there I had to check a couple times to make sure that uh, my hinge was the the same thickness on both sides and that's what's kinda tough to tell on on these plunge cuts is you, you can't see the other side of the saw and I, I didn't want to peek around the front of the tree and and have something go wrong there and have it start falling so I took caution and uh, kept kept going back and forth and checking that out so I got my hinge cut, or my plunge done, and now I'm cutting that back strap of the tree. And this is where things happen quickly. So as soon as I get close, there it goes. And as you can see, uh, if I hadn't gone out of the way real quick, there was a chunk of that tree that came down. That was a good five, six foot limb there. Uh, if I didn't get out of the way and if I had stood, stood where I was, you know, I was in danger of that that being a widowmaker. If that that hits me on the head, I'm I'm certainly feeling it. And uh, you know, the way that I I saw it afterwards, it was kind of punky, so it wasn't you know a solid limb, but um, it was definitely a bell ringer. So you know, that's one instance where I probably should have been wearing a hard hat, but did not have one on hand. Uh, but that's what I was talking about earlier. You got to be aware of your your surroundings and make sure you get out of the way quick. And then here I am uh, getting ready to cut another leaner. This one I wish I should have probably should have got a shot of how how bad it was leaning uh, but it was actually you know a fairly good leaner and I needed to drop it right in between these two uh, trees so uh, gonna let the chainsaw do all the talking on this one and, and show you how it's done.
know what I'm doing.